as this whole Dalvin Cook trade drama plays out, will he be traded? Will he be back on a pay cut? Will he be cut cut? Uh, the question is, more importantly for the fall, how is this going to affect fantasy football? And Dalvin Cook, for a number of years, uh, has been one of the top running backs in the game. Uh, he's one of the rare bell cow running backs, four straight thousand yard seasons, uh, great nose for the end zone, a solid receiver as well. So the whole thing about Dalvin is, if he stays, how does that impact the running back situation behind him? Alexander Madison returned on a two-year deal, is ready to be that running back one. And what happens ultimately if he's traded, which is probably what's going to happen in all likelihood? Is Madison a top 10 running back? What about Dalvin? Depends on where he lands. Where uh, where does he rank in terms of uh, running back outlook for next season? Well, Matthew Berry, fantasy football legend, one of the grand poobahs, talented Mr. Roto, uh, weighed in on his newsletter, actually, about what could happen with the Dalvin Cook situation. Uh, So blah, 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 blah. Uh, The wait continues, but there's certainly been enough smoke to doubt the idea that Cook will once again function as the Vikings lead back in 2023. That's the thing, too, where if Dalvin and the Vikings hug it out and he returns on a reduced rate, I think that it it indicates that will be at a reduced role as well, where, you know, Dalvin got, you know, 75%, 80% of the work last year uh, versus Madison, uh, potentially even more. I think that could even out to maybe a 50-50 split, uh, maybe even uh, some Ty Chandler or Kenne or Dwayne McBride mixed in there as well. So I think that could turn into a fantasy quagmire if Dalvin does return. The public has certainly taken notice as both Cook and next man up Alexander Madison have been two of the biggest movers in underdog ADP over the last month. So underdog, great fantasy site, ADP average draft position. And he includes a tweet from uh, Dwayne McFarland. Uh, significant running back movers on underdog over the past month. So Dalvin Cook, his ADP has dropped 10 spots. And then Alexander Madison, his a- average draft position has launched up 22 spots uh, as people are putting together. Oh, Jerome Ford and Tank Biz- Bigsby. Woo! Love to see it, man. Uh, yeah, Dante Foreman dropping uh, because uh, of the addition of Johnson. But yeah, uh, so the so people are taking notice and they're reading the tea leaves of what's happening. And Dalvin is probably going to be not a Viking this year, likely a trade, potentially a cut. So his ADP is dropping because of uncertainty of where he's going to land, uh, as well as Madison uh, would be the guy. And you know, Madison does have five 90 plus yard games, including 300 yard games, uh, starting in place of Dalvin Cook when Dalvin missed time due to various injuries and I think that he is he gonna be a superstar running back probably not but I I do think that Madison is a very solid meat potatoes potential running back one who could be the captain of a running back by committee uh, replacing Dalvin Cook uh, Madison would immediately surge into low end RB two territory at worst, so that'd be uh, you know around running back 15, 16, 17 area. Uh, should Cook be released or traded, uh, making his rise up the ranks pretty reasonable to chase, and especially with the Vikings offense uh, looking to be as explosive as it is, and there's going to be a lot of volume for a guy like Alexander Madison because if you think of game script wise as well, if and when the Vikings get numerous touchdown leads and you're salting the game away, you're going to ride with your guy. Alexander Madison batter, battering ram getting a lot of uh, work uh, just running out the clock as well as down in the red zone, etc. He continued, uh, the larger question, uh, what would be the most fantasy-friendly landing spot for Cook if not in Minnesota? The following three key teams make a lot of sense. Uh, Dolphins up at one. Uh, da, da, da. So it says three, I only listed two. But anyways, the Dolphins, uh, whoever ends up working with Mike McDaniel's lead back will certainly carry plenty of fantasy upside simply by existing in the league's reigning 11th ranked scoring offense, although no team was less willing to give up the running back. I mean, the Vikings had the number seven scoring offense last year, and no one talks about them like the Dolphins. But anyways, uh, blah, blah, blah. All that stuff. Projected uh, 2023 fantasy rank are RB19. So that'd be a low end RB2 uh, by the rule of thumb of 10 team leagues. Cowboys, uh, only the Lions, Broncos, da 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 da. Uh, this is your reminder that Ezekiel Elliott, 248, will somehow give him more touches than Tony Pollard, 232. And we've said this for years on this channel. Tony Pollard's been the best running back on the Cowboys for, what, three years? minimum but you know jerry gave zeke that huge contract so he kind of got to hang on to him otherwise that's embarrassing i get it man uh, adding cook to the cowboys wouldn't lead to a feature three down roll pollard received the franchise tag for a reason but sliding into the same spot that helped zeke produce the league's third most carries inside the five yard line certainly wouldn't be all that bad for fantasy business and uh, projected as a low-end R- rb3 as rb29 right so those are a couple spots where he could end up. Uh, I do think with the Bills, 
I mean, the Bills don't run the ball, first of all, uh, but maybe that could change this year as they're looking to give Josh Allen some help, and maybe it's more of a split him and James Cook. His brother James is a much uh, better receiver. Dalvin runs with more power. So uh, that, that could be a spot where they're actually very complimentary of each other versus uh, butting up against each other and stealing each other's work. Uh, but I think the Dolphins does make the most sense because even though they have uh, a Kane and Mostert and Wilson, Dalvin would be running back one in that spot. And if he does return to the Vikings, I, I do think that it, it does make uh, Minnesota a bit of a fantasy quagmire because if Dalvin is back at a reduced rate, does he resume being that guy who had four straight thousand yard seasons? I don't think so. I think that Kevin O'Connell would want to keep Dalvin fresh late in games and later in the season. So I think it could be a true split uh, between Dalvin Madison and whoever running back TBD, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens, man. But your thoughts are thoughts. Matthew Berry weighs in on the fantasy impacts of a potential Dalvin Cook trade. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts and his thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more the work, put a little something in the Vedmo, but to next time, skull. Production value.